Now in this video we want to talk quite briefly about quartiles, deciles and percentiles. Now quartiles you really need to understand very well because there are a lot of questions that relate to quartiles but we want to briefly talk about deciles and percentiles because there are times where you might get asked about these. So we'll start with quartiles. You notice here it says for quartiles scores are split into four equal parts. Now below we have class A and if we were to split this into four equal parts we would put the line here, here and here and you'll notice that in, we've split it into one, two, three, four parts or four sections and each section has the same number of scores. It's got five scores. Okay, so in example three it says by looking at the scores in class A below calculate the first quartile. So the first quartile is represented by this position here. This is our third quartile and the middle one is our median but can also be called the second quartile. So the first quartile is two. So that's the answer for question A. That involves splitting your data into four equal parts. So question B wants you to find the fourth decile and deciles are when scores are split into ten equal parts. So I'm going to get rid of this, I'm going to get my eraser because I want to not look at quartiles now, I want to look at deciles. So if I split it into 10 equal parts, I would put lines every with two numbers between each of them. And you can see I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 equal parts. This would be the first decile, second, third, and fourth decile. So when it asks for the fourth decile, I would say that would be 2, because that's the number that goes between 2 and 2. All right, so that's deciles. Um, I mean, if you asked for the seventh decile, that would, that would go there, that would be the number 3. Now, percentiles are much harder, because essentially for percentiles you are splitting it into 100 equal parts. Now that's almost impossible for this one so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to rub this out and I'll start, actually I should, probably shouldn't have rubbed it out because I want to split it into tens first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So when we talk about percentages, um, this was called the first decile, but we would also call this the tenth percentile because percentages want to end at 100%. So we'd go the 20th, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 um, percentiles. And you'll notice that we'd end at 100 because percentiles are like percentages. This is 10% of the data, 20% of the data, and, and so on. So in question C, they want you to find the 85th percentile, which would actually go right here, because this is where your, kind of like your 85% of the data comes to. So the 85th percentile would be 4. Now it would be a lot harder if they asked for the 86th percentile or the 87th, but they're quite unlikely to, to ask you questions like that. 